Hey, good morning, family. Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, welcome to the channel. Doing your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Thursday, June 10th, and the deck I'm using is the Butterfly Oracle. So I've got the light set down so I can read the companion book for you guys. Um, it's a little bit glaring for me. So anyway, I pulled this really amazing card. I never read the companion book before I start filming. Um, and this one is Relationship Dynamics. So I'm really fascinated to read from the book here. And I usually go through a moment of confusion before I decide um, how to hold the card and the book. But that's just me. So anyway, guys, this is for all zodiac signs. This is for the collective energy. If you showed up today or any other day, there's something in this card for you. There's something in this reading for you. <sighs> so it says this card indicates that there have been some changes in one or more of your relationships with your family, friends, or romantic partner. There's a sense that you have less in common and are growing apart. This may be because you are now more sensitive and more conscious. This is so true, you guys. More conscious of your feelings when you're with certain people. Perhaps in the past, you numbed your emotional awareness and now your feelings are awake. Does this make sense to you guys? This is like so like bang on for me. The most important relationship of all is with yourself. So you do need to take care of your feelings and needs in this situation. Yes, relationships involve compromise, but ultimately if you're denying yourself happiness, this will be a negative impact on the relationship. Therefore, you are guided to be honest with yourself about your needs, even if it means working with a counselor for support. As you make changes, all of your relationships will be affected. It's time for you to sort through your feelings about each of them to bring healthy balance into your life. All right, so additional meanings. Moving your relationships in a healthier direction. A healed relationship with yourself uh, individual and or marital counseling, a new person entering the picture, changing the dynamics of other relationships. Absolutely fascinating card. So I'm going to go back one page here. Um, this may be, this may happen because you are now more sensitive and more conscious of your feelings when you're with certain people. All right. So as you move through your life, your emotional intelligence hopefully grows and changes. Your sensitivity, especially if you're a light worker or an empath or any other person, basically anybody. What you might have accepted 10 years ago just certainly is not going to fly right now. You might be prone to having more open conversations with people and people don't like the pushback. Okay, so... You can just expect things to evolve, just like any other thing in your life. Your relationships are going to evolve. Um, you have to be able to stick up for yourself. You might just be more in love with who you are as a person now than you were 10, 20 years ago, you know, and your boundaries have changed. And you could notice that people are falling off out of your life. And that's because they're being removed. They don't belong there anymore. Um, your circle could be dwindling in number, but increasing in value. You know, people that understand you, they see things the same way as you. Um, there's a phrase that it's like, it's lonely at the top. You know what I mean? So as you get to the top of your emotional game, who deserves to be there with you? It's not gonna be people that don't understand you, take you for granted, manipulate you. I see this as being a very powerful opportunity in your life to say, I'm not allowing you to speak to me like that anymore. Or you can apologize for things that you said or did, you know, when you were a lesser version of yourself. Um, there's so much about this card that I absolutely love. So if you guys have noticed that your friend group is getting smaller, I really wouldn't worry about that too much because it was people that have served their purpose in your life. They helped you learn a lesson. Maybe they just don't belong there anymore. And you need room for people that are at your level on a conscious level, emotional and intellectual. And you could start to notice that you're a little bit more selective about who you allow into your life. Just say, well, that doesn't resonate with me. So 
it was nice knowing you, uh, nice meeting you, but I'm gonna travel the rest of my road here without you in it, and that's okay. It is okay to say goodbye to people. Not everybody will walk beside you for the rest of your life. That is a very rare opportunity. Um, and you're probably at a point in your life where you deserve people that understand you 100%, uh, empathize with you, and strengthen you instead of tearing you down, making you feel uncomfortable. So this is a really good opportunity to look at who serves you and who d does not. And make the choices and stand up in your own power and understand that you have the right to choose who walks the path of your life with you, beside you, with love and strength and integrity and uh, love and light. Okay, so I'm going to go and I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>